video today. Um, I know my last Builder Base video did not get much <laughs> views, but uh, I really like playing Builder Base, so I'm gonna make another video. So uh, today I want to talk about um, so the leaderboard that I discussed in one of the past videos. How I was like at 5,140 something, and I was like cl like probably like 300th in the U.S. But uh, yeah, like I was saying before, like as the season goes on, then these top people keep playing each other, and the leaderboard just keeps getting higher and higher. So currently. I am sitting at 5,143, which is 11,514, which is actually worse than I finished last time under 10,000, 9,617, but I have better offense. So I have the battle, battle copter now. So that shows that currently right now, if I play a couple matches, um, I'll be able to push up in trophies uh, pretty easily based off where I am, where my defense is. Uh, so that's what I thought I'd do today. I'd, I'd do the star bonus attacks and, uh, talk them through and see if I can do it in two attacks. But, uh, before I get to that, I want to talk about my defense here. So what I did before is this place is where the expo was. I swatched, swapped it with a random firecracker and it really hinders my defense. Uh, I can't show the defense log cause it's like weird bug. It like wipes it out every time, but uh, I get three star or six star a lot. And what I kind of realized is, uh, what I'm going to do is when I'm upgrading the Expo, it's such a tank to my defense. So I am going to start, um, I'm going to stop upgrading the Expo until I have a Firecracker level 10. So this one's going to level 9, and then I'll go to level 10. And once I get to level 10, it might be an okay substitute for the, um, for the Expo. So damage per second, 105, and the Expo does... 96 so it is kind of like the same it's just a little bit less tanky because it has 2000 it has half the hit points basically but uh yeah so once i max out the uh firecrackers i'll swap it with the expo and the reason for that is you never really want to be upgrading builders in, or you want never want to be upgrading defenses in the first village in builder base because it has such a toll you really want to stop people at that 97 percent or really kill their troops off so they don't get the re or the what do you call this thing? The healing hut bonus. Like, you really want to emphasize the first defense. So that's why I think I kind of made a mistake here, upgrading the firecrackers and the expo. So I'm going to stop with the expo, like I said, and uh, maybe I'll upgrade, like, some junky thing on the second base. I can always upgrade, like, traps or something, or uh, maybe this Tesla. But, uh, yeah, that's the strategy. So the defense might not be too hot in this video, but uh, let's see what we can do here. So... Um, hopefully I get two six stars, but, uh, we will see. So I've been only really just doing my, um, my star bonuses recently because I tried to push after my last video where I was like, Hey, like I can probably get the top 200 in the U S really quick, but you kind of hit a wall and you keep attacking really good people that keep six star on you. And then you mess up once and you drop a lot of trophies. And it's like, Oh, so I'm not that competitive yet until I like fully max out my builder base. But, um, let's dissect this base here. So it looks like... There are several several ground defenses. I almost mm, I don't really see much value for a cannon cart. I do see some value if I drop two cannon carts and then an archer on the archer towers. I could potentially get that mega Tesla. And then the question is, will three baby dragons be enough to wipe out air bombs and firecrackers? Probably not. Um, unless I drop the air machine in the upper left, or the 9 o'clock side, which I think she'll get the archer tower. Yeah, I think 3 will be enough to clear it, so let's try that out. We'll start with the cannon carts up here to wipe out these trash buildings first. Um, they're going to have to go a little bit slow because I don't want to get in range of the archer tower by accident. Um, I almost feel like actually 2 cannon carts might have been a mistake. But, uh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's go in the, the air guy. I actually kind of... I'm bad at attacking live when I'm recording. Um, just because it's, like, one more thing to think about. Because I just, like, talk while I'm doing it. Uh, so I kind of suck. Like, my creative juices, like, aren't as flowing. So I hope this is the right strategy that I picked. I'm gonna have to take out that clock tower. And then I'll drop in the archers on those archer towers. This is, like, a hybrid between the cannon cart archer attack strategy and throwing in some baby dragons there so once this one goes down two archers for that one two archers for that one and that should be enough to take them out i all right i'll have to use this guy's ability hopefully he takes out the flamethrower there and he does so we'll move in with the cannon cart here 
Alright, he'll be able to take out the Mega Tesla. This one will too. Alright, then we'll go in and hopefully finish off this base. They gotta go quick on that Mega Tesla there. Uh, cause I'm... I guess I'm not too low on time. Um, Alright, so he finished out that one. I don't think number 5 can actually get any more value here, so we're gonna start moving in here. Baby Dragon from up top. I might have to advance in Cannon Cart number 6. Just for a little bit more firepower. Maybe number 5 as well. I don't want them to die in the second stage. So 1, 2, and then 3, and that should be a oh, successful... I hope. 6 star. Might be a time fail. No, I'm, I'm still gonna stall this to cannon cards because I don't want them to hit a giant bomb just in case. Yeah, this will be fine. So we got a three star. I misspoke. I said six star. Um, so now we only need nine more stars in the star bonus. Um. All right. So we have a full health ground battle machine. We have two cannon cards. Two cannon cards actually can't get too much value on this base. I almost think I would be better off. Uh, so the cannon card can take out one can. Can I take out two of the cannons? So then I'm fighting a Crusher Expo. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to throw in two more baby dragons to take out this Crusher um, and Expo compartment. I think they'll be able to pretty easily. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then the battle machine hopefully is enough ground firepower to take out the rest of the base. So yeah, let's go in with the... One cannon cart here, one cannon cart here, we'll throw this one on. Uh, cause I don't, when you run two, you don't want to accidentally, um, oh, I guess I can open that guy up. You don't want to accidentally get in range of the cannon by not paying attention. So, uh, once this guy takes out the storage, I'm gonna have to pop the ability. I'm really being cautious there because it's hard when the cannon cart is close to the cannon because you have to really time it out so you just inches one forward. But when he's like moving across, it's easy to time it there. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to take out both those cannons. Let's go in with the baby dragons here, or at least that one. Okay, we'll go in. Oh, went in with the level two one. I oh, we're number two. It's annoying how I thought it would just go across the bar to the next one. I guess it didn't. So we'll go in with number eight. Both abilities, hopefully. Take out that double cannon, take out the double cannon. We're gonna have to advance in here with the big guy. I mean, battle machine. Um, Alright, this actually looks pretty promising. So we'll have that cannon cart roll in. I don't know if we popped any Teslas. Oh, we did not. Uh, oh, that cannon cart got targeted. That is so unfortunate. Um, we'll have to pop this cannon cart's ability so he stays out of the range of the Teslas there. Actually, you know what, let's, let's let him move in, because the battle machine is getting targeted anyway. Oh no. I went quiet there for a second. I actually think we're not going to finish this. And it actually came down to that one cannon cart being in range of that Tesla there. Because it probably would have taken out the Tesla, I would have cannon carted it down. Man, that shows how cut <laughs> cutthroat these bases are sometimes. Um, sorry, Force Habit. Open up that thing, but yeah, let's see how this guy... Oh, he only got 86%, so we got a lot of trophies there. We got 20 trophies, so that's a win in my books. Let's get into the next attack here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's watch that defense. Uh, why not? Let's see, let's see what he did. Oh, okay, I guess I'm being attacked live. <laughs> I don't really know how the matchmaking works, and I don't want to risk taking a defense without going on offense. Um... This one looks like we could go with, uh, this, honestly, the same strategy except one less cannon cart, because then we'll just take out the Mega Tesla and, uh, yeah, the Firecrackers. I'll get a lot of value with that cannon cart, actually. So, actually, this will work a little bit better because I'll go a little bit faster. Um, I can probably pop the archers right away to take out that archer tower. Um, and not waste time with this cannon cart. I will, anyway, just in case. So I'll pop the cannon cart there. I'll put this guy here to make sure he goes through the gold mine, then to the archer tower, then to the clock tower, because then I can use the ability on... The, maybe I don't want to use the ability on the clock tower, but I really want to... If it went through the clock tower first, the air machine, um, he'd probably die to the archer tower. Or it'd get so low that it's not even, like, worth it. Um, so we'll pop two archers there. 
Uh, we might have to use three, actually. Oh, but the Mega Tesla, that might have been a mistake. Uh, well, not that big a mistake. Okay, perfect. Still worked. Uh, we'll have the cannon car move in here, because that's the angle we want him to go at there, because uh, he'll get a lot of value. Um, yeah, so he'll take out the Mega Tesla. And f oh, come on. I almost wish I had more time. So this is where we just sit and wait, and I honestly don't really have a plan for the Baby Dragons. Baby Dragons, I feel like I never have a plan. I'm just gonna throw them in where I see fit. Uh, so, oh, I should advance the cannon cart one sooner, because uh, as soon as he does that final shot, you can kind of start advancing him. So, now that the firecrackers are being taken, oop, wrong button, um, we'll pop in the battle machine there, and we'll just throw in the baby dragons here. Because uh, while the air machine is uh, tanking, or while the air machine's in range of the firecrackers, it does provide really good tanking, so uh, I kind of try to take advantage of that. This is a little bit unlucky. Because the two baby dragons at the bottom stacked, and those are actually pretty important to this attack. I really hope I don't time fail because we could be using number two's ability. But okay, number one's gonna die. That's perfect. We want number one there to die so that number two can go to rage and then take out that uh, firecracker there. Perfect. All right, there we go. The hundred percent seven seconds rain. These attacks against max bases are always so cutthroat. So, like, stressful, but I love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, so, we could get a lot of cannon cart value here. If we, if it isn't trapped, the cannon cart can take out two of those cannons and a double cannon. If we do two cannon carts here, and then the battle machine just gotta clean up that archer tower and uh, lava launcher. I just gotta hope that the cannon carts aren't baited. And we have one extra archer too. I wonder if I should use a wall breaker or another P.E.K.K.A. Because if it fails, the P.E.K.K.A. might fare a little... Nah, we're, we're risking it all. Let's go wall breaker here. To wall break into that compartment for the battle machine there. So we'll drop a cannon cart from up here. Hopefully it's not baited. Alright, there we go. That guy's in a good spot. Take out that cannon, double cannon. I feel like right in the middle is going to be baited. We'll drop it a little bit off-centered here. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to hit the cannon. Uh, I might have to retarget him after he takes out those buildings. But, um, yeah, this isn't looking too bad. I think this is looking like a possible six star. Having an extra cannon cart left over from the first attack is just so huge. Like, it lets you do so much with the attack. So, I'm a little bit afraid of the... Um, let me retarget this guy in further. I don't know how far the lava launcher, maybe I won't be able to take out the double cannon, but I'm a little bit afraid of the um, troops here, so I'm actually going to pop the archer there to help out. Come on, come on, cannon cart, you got this. Perfect. Uh, if I didn't have the archer, he probably would have died. Oh no, no, the same mistake as last time. Cannon cart gets sniped by a Tesla. As I move him in just a little bit too quick, I actually think this won't be a three-star now. So yeah, let's throw in the wall breaker, force the battle machine in. Um, man, this is a little bit sad again. So yeah, now we just kind of hope and pray here. I always forget about the Teslas. Uh, I should have just waited. So I just don't think we have enough firepower. I think the health will be fine on the battle machine, but uh, yeah, it's just the firepower here. So we broke into that cannon compartment, we should be good, we at least got the two star, uh, yeah, cannon cart goes down, just not enough time, another fail here, that is just sad again, So, but this will be a high-ish percent, we might only miss by, yeah, three buildings there, um, alright, well, that means we get a third attack in. Uh, for this video here, and maybe we'll watch one on defense as well. Oh, so we got two big defenses here. So we got 30. If only I three star or six star both of those, we would have got so many trophies here. So let's go in with this last attack here and see if we can end off with a six star. All right, so I see this base a lot of times, um, and it depends. Sometimes they push this Archer Tower Expo double can or giant cannon up higher to like the town hall area and I already chained with a nasty electro wizard chain but I actually think the move for this base is um 
to go in with ground. Because if you go in with ground, so I just use all P.E.K.K.A.s and uh, some wall breakers as I see fit. I'll probably use two to go in from each side and ground machine. Um, so if we t can take out this compartment here, that's actually a lot of the ground targeting defenses right there. Uh, actually, I'm kind of feeling tempted to throw in a cannon cart. I never really do cannon carts with P.E.K.K.A.s and stuff, but if I throw in a cannon cart, I could get that crusher for sure. And the firecracker. Yeah, I'm going to throw in a cannon cart and let's just see what happens. We'll get him up here so we don't time fail so we can uh, let him roam for a little bit. I hope he doesn't hit a push trap though. That's the only concern. The minute he gets in range of that uh, crusher, I am... Alright, that's good enough. So he can take out those two defenses and we are chilling. So we're still going to go in from that same side. Um, but the thing about P.E.K.K.A.s and the Battle Machine is you do have to deploy them, not at like under a minute like Baby Dragons, you do kind of got to deploy them a little bit quicker because uh, they are kind of sl slow. So at a minute 20 I'm going to deploy the Battle Machine, even though the Crusher's not down. It's kind of a shame because I'm just not getting as much value as I wish I could with this cannon cart here. Uh, and he's going for the storage. Alright, yeah, we got to go in anyway. Um, Whatever, we got a firecracker out of the way and some damage on this thing. So yeah, let's throw in a wall breaker right here. Should be a good spot. Break in all the compartments. Oh, hopefully. I didn't actually reach the back there. That's not good. Um, oof. So I'll throw in another one like this angle. Uh, Alright, so we took out the crusher like within one hit there though. Let's advance in this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Throw that bomb, throw that bomb. Perfect, alright. Uh, we'll pop number three's ability right now. And we have number one's ability to pop. Alright, number one ability popped automatically. Um, with the battle machine going in here. Cannon card and P.E.K.K.A. I actually think this is going to be a, a fail here. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it was a bad idea to push the cannon card in there, but I almost got out that giant cannon. Um, but yeah, at least it's going to be a two star, uh, and we're going to finish out the star bonus. Yeah, so this base is sometimes hard, and I guess I got a little bit greedy with that cannon card. It didn't, definitely did not get as much value as I expected, but yeah, an 83% two star. I, <laughs> so this guy's probably going to 200% me, and then we'll be offset exactly from all the progress that I made. So, uh, yeah, let's see if he's, he's definitely on the second stage because he's still going. Oh! Oh, no. I just got optimistic for a second. I was like, no way he's gonna fail. But, uh, he still got it. Oh! He ended the battle. I was like, he still has his battle machine, I thought. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, so we didn't get 200% of there. So, overall in this video, we got 33 or 35 36 14 so that comes out to a total of 50 85 and on defense we got 30 uh 66 which so we got a net positive there um so they went in with three different attack strategies the one that is the best happened to be with an electro wizard so he goes in with the electro wizard and yeah he recognizes that there's some good chains to get here but uh my lava launcher it is under level but um it did kill it right away, so it ended up not mattering. And I wonder why this was the best attack strategy. I think, like, just the best one is just going in with, like, mass baby dragons for some reason. And sometimes the ground battle machine does work pretty well. Man, it seems like... Wow, it really seemed like this attack shouldn't have a six-star. Oh my gosh, and he really shouldn't... This w this was such a close attack. He got really lucky there. Uh, yeah, if only I actually had my, uh, like I said, like that level 10 firecrackers, that wouldn't have went through 100%. The, uh, it would have been enough damage output that um, the baby dragon would have died there, and it would have been like a 97%. But yeah, that shows just how important defense is on builder base sometimes. And I guess it's like a glitch, because the battle machine we saw did die there, but it says in the bar here, and we saw the end of it there. Um, let's let's view the other two defenses because they're both two different attack strategies. So then we got someone coming in here with a cannon cart and baby dragons. So he tries to cannon cart this upper left corner. Um, I think you actually can successfully cannon cart from up there on this base, and you can successfully air machine from up there because the air machine can take out the air bombs by himself. But he makes the mistake of sending in the baby dragon, so the baby dragon gets. A 
basically zero value, and he sends in another baby dragon. So if you don't know, if you're attacking, if you see the base that I have here, you don't actually have to send in any of those baby dragons. That air machine would have gotten those uh, air bombs by himself, I think. Maybe 23 is too low of a level, but I'm pretty sure you can still get it. Um, and he would have had two extra baby dragons going in here. That cannon cart, I wasn't really watching. I'm not sure if it got the archer tower there, but kind of got minimum value too. And it looks like he's actually just going to time fail here. Um, so yeah, and then we have the last uh, defense going in here. And this guy went in with the P.E.K.K.A. strategy. This is actually kind of convenient that I did want to show all the strategies that people use against this base. Happened to fail. This one usually crushes the base, but for some reason people are like uh, turned off against using it. I don't know why, but it works pretty well. There's not too many uh, ground defenses on this base. Um, so yeah, I don't know why he used the air machine. The best strategy with the P.E.K.K.A.s is, is to use the ground machine because, like I just showed in that attack that I just failed, um, P.E.K.K.A.s you can't waste too much time in the beginning, which is exactly what the air machine does. And this is exactly what that guy with the baby dragon should have done with the air machine because you can get firecrackers pretty easily, or the air bombs pretty easily with just the air machine. But uh, yeah, so goes in with the wall breaker right through the middle of the base. That's really all you got to do with the strategy, and it works most times. Um, so clearly he's just a rookie attacker here because he doesn't pop the abilities when he should be popping the abilities. So they all just died, and like four of them, or three of them used the ability on the Mega Tesla when it could have just like taken out the Mega Tesla, conserved so much health and everything if he would have used the ability at the right time. But then it comes out of the solo wall breaker, and he does. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty successful day. Uh, let's check the global leaderboards again and see if I moved up a little bit. I should have, I think. Uh, yeah, 8,641. That's about where I, I think I should be. Maybe a little bit higher, but if I did a couple more attacks, I think I wouldn't really go up too high in trophies. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully make another uh, Builder Base video soon when I have better defense, and I'll hopefully be way higher in trophies. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.